Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley and where we left off in the previous episode we barely just scratched the surface of the game and as we are only just trying to learn the game at the moment but uh, you guys have been very very helpful so far as uh, you've been trying to give me a few hints on what to do and how to get better at the game and I absolutely appreciate every single one of your comments guys. So before we start up today's episode uh, let me first of all do one really important thing. Let me go into the options here and activate the tool hit location because now we are going to see where our tool is going to hit which is going to make things much much easier for us to uh, figure out so thank you very much guys for all the tips that you've been giving me in the uh premiere now let me try to clean up this place as much as possible we are going to have to start building up of course this place as much as possible but before we start doing that i do want to also clean up the place a little bit and uh try to be more organized right Let's see, let me get myself this. I'm not sure what's up with those things and why I cannot grab them, but um, anyway. Oh, I think my backpack is full. That's why I cannot carry any more things. I get it now. Uh, in that case, let me go back home. No, I don't want to do that, buddy. Just go inside. <laughs> All right, can I also put more things around here to uh, start producing? We require coal, of course. I require five ore. Ah, so you need five ore in order to make that. I get it now. Interesting. Well, in that case, let's just get rid of some of the stuff from my inventory. Just to make spots uh, for more things. There we go. This should be good. Also, somebody told me that I can go ahead and look at the fortune teller or maybe to learn recipes. Welcome to the Woolwich Oracle. The only show where you can voice the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits, feel ne uh, the spirits feel neutral today. The day is your hands. Or the day is my hands. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's see what missions we got for today, right? So, for today, we have initiation. Uh, 0 out of 10 slimes we gotta defeat. We gotta go to level 40 in the mines and build a coop. Hmm. How do I even build a coop, though? Interesting. Uh, I definitely want to try to build me a coop. I'm not quite sure exactly how to do it. Let's see. Can I maybe build a coop over here? Electables. I mean, I have absolutely no clue how I'm going to be able to build a coop just yet. That's a campfire. Of course, you do need the uh, materials if you want to build up a coop, right? Hmm. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me keep on getting myself more materials. Let's just try to get everything that we can here for the day. Now, as I'm playing this one, I'm also playing a game called Lens Island, which is also a farm simulator, right? It's completely different from this one. I will be uh, starting posting those episodes very, very soon on the channel. But um, uh, playing so many different games at the same time means that uh, it is going to take a lot of learning <laughs> on every single one of these games. Let me try to clean up all these bushes. I know that I'm not going to be able to build anything here just yet because I do want to focus on trying to build something at our house and then focus on other locations. But while we're at it, why not just grab a few of these things? Uh, can we also grab... Actually, I don't think we have yet. We definitely don't have enough. Uh, let me go ahead and plant a few trees around here. Just because I want to grab me this flower. There you go, buddy. Let's see how much work we can do today. Unfortunately, we don't have any more food, right? Which means we are going to need to go to sleep very soon as well. We cannot carry any more of that, but that's fine. Get out of here, bushes. Man, so many bushes. And of course, quite a few stones. Alright, let me try to grab me more wood. Uh, I think 99 is the limit, right, for each one of these uh, blocks that we hold on. Very, very soon, I am going to have to purchase myself a backpack to be able to carry more things. 
All right, we got more bushes out of there. And the inventory is full. <laughs> Already. Love it. You're starting to feel exhausted. Oh, I don't want to feel exhausted, actually. I want to go to bed. Uh, oh, never mind. We can't carry more than 99 in a single slot. Hmm. For some reason, I thought you can only carry 99. Yeah, it's probably going to be 999 in a single slot. Interesting. All right, in that case, uh, I think we're done with this one. Let me go with the next one and fill up this chest as well with as many things as possible. And uh, also go to sleep. Yes. All right, level two, foraging. Uh, survival burger. What? So can we actually cook burgers? Although I feel like in order to build stuff, right, to cook stuff, I want to say, uh, we may need to get ourselves... Hmm, some materials. Let me see what I can do here. All right, so if I want to build stuff, of course, we need materials, right? But we can make a fence, a gate. Hmm, wooden fences. I would actually like to make some wooden fences here and a gate as well. Let's also get a sign, I guess, and some wooden paths just to decorate this place a little bit. Let's see how we can make it look. Look at this place. Farmer Santen, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Hmm. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. Which a kitchen? With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you learn. Ah, so there we go. We are gonna have to expand if you want to learn some recipes right and have a kitchen. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Sarge Valley. You know what? I may need to give her a visit just to try to... Hmm. That is really cool. Definitely in the kitchen. Uh, for some reason, this place that I keep on hoeing here, it keeps on growing back. I don't understand why this is happening, though. Uh, anyway, let me get some of these fences. I do want to have a gate over here. Actually, I don't want a gate. What I want is fences. Oh, you can only place... You cannot place fences on these ones, seriously? Dang it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wait. Those are some really strange sounds. I think I'm gonna have to wait for... Uh, this path to grow back up so that we can make a proper path. There we go. Let's get that going. And I think I want to have a fence right over here instead. Hmm. Oh, so you got a click to open this up? Hmm. I can't have any crows yet. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me keep on building this up then. Ah, you can put it actually on that stuff. Huh. Okay, never mind. So you can put it here. Uh, let me make more. I do want to have more fences. Uh, let's grab... I don't know, 20 of these. I just gotta make sure I am close enough for this uh, fence to be built. There we go. This is great. And I also want to have it like... Uh, actually, hold on a minute. I want to have it here. I don't exactly know how to remove stuff. Um, can I maybe just destroy it? Oh yeah, we can. Never mind. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be my little garden. <laughs> At least for now. We are going to make this look uh, even better. But now, let me also place a path, a wooden path, taking me here. And also this way. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at this. So good. Uh, I can also make the path going this way, but I already have like a path taking me to this side, right? So I'm not gonna even uh, bother about it. All right, perfect. Uh, and lastly, let's also put a sign in here. That's gonna say... How do I edit the text on it, though? Hmm. 
I got no clue how to edit the text on the sign here. Yeah, I'm clicking everything, but nothing is working. Interesting. Anyway, let me make my way inside here and get rid of all the woods. Alright, uh, let me go back in town then. Let me try to chat with some people and see what we can purchase and uh, what we can do. I am going to have to try to get me some more seeds in the game, of course, because the more seeds I get, the more farming I can do. Which means I'm going to be able to make some really good crops that I can use to eat up and uh, increase my stamina, I guess. Alright, uh, it is Vincent's birthday today. Who's Vincent? Nothing posted today. Yeah, if I could realize who uh, Vincent is, I think I could actually give him a present. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let me just give the blacksmith a visit. Alright. Uh, where's the blacksmith? Oh, he's right here. Hey, today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows where you might find uh, some rare ores. Alright, buddy. Uh, I cannot look at that for some reason. Yeah, I'm always getting this um, icon here, but I cannot really interact with it. How do we interact with stuff? There's a stack of uh, metalworking blueprints. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? All right, never mind. Uh, nothing in here either. Interesting. Clint's quality anvil. It's made from a uranium alloy. Raising animals, introduction, deeper in the mind. I think I may need to go inside deeper in the mind to try to take out some of those uh, goopy little guys. Mm, yeah, you know what? Let me go in the mines then. Let me try to do a little bit of work here. Uh, Pam, times have been tough lately. I got laid off my jobs as a bus driver. If I got any job back, I could drive you uh, to Calico Desert. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this is a supermarket area. What? Welcome to Georgia Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia's customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition to Joya's experience. Hmm. All right, buddy. What about her? So uh, this is where you can actually buy stuff. Rice, wallpapers, uh, flooring. I think this is a blueprint. Oh no, it's just flooring. With flour, sugar, grass starter. Hmm. So many seeds. Interesting. I just wanted to chat with this lady though because I wanted to get to nowhere. Anyway, let's see who this is. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Now, how many people do we still have to meet here? Uh, 22 out of 28. Okay. Man, but this market, though, seems to have everything. All right, there we go. And we're back in the mines. Now, let me make my way to the bottom here. And while I'm going to make my way to the bottom, I'm also going to try to unlock the elevators so that we can carry on, right, from the location where we last left, instead of uh, going through every single one of these floors. Again, you guys told me in the premiere of uh, this brand new series here that you can actually do that, so of course we got to unlock the elevator. Right, let's keep on going deeper. Uh, I'm going to collect as many things as possible. I do have quite a few slots here open up, but uh, I had to go back home and get myself some food, of course. Oh, what is that? Coal. Interesting. Uh, I do need these things. So what I'm going to do is... Let me eat... I guess the fish. I just want to eat this flower, but apparently I cannot for some reason. Anyway, uh, let me just go ahead and get myself minerals. Perfect. That is what I came here for. Let's also take out this creeder. Get out of here, buddy. Eventually, I will have to upgrade, of course, my sword and get a better one. 
Hmm, what was that? All right, can I destroy these ones? Yes, we can. And uh, we're getting copper out of it. I may need to get myself some of that copper to tell the truth. How do you consume this? Uh, eat the bomb. All right, there we go. We got the fish. Hopefully, there's not going to be a problem by eating uh, raw fish, eh? <laughs> All right, let me grab the copper back again. And let's keep on going. Actually, not the copper, but the coal. Let's see. All right, we are on floor three here. Oh, there we go. We already unlocked a new level. Uh, let me look for a little bit of copper before I keep on going, though. Which, unfortunately, I cannot see. So, let me keep on going to the next level. Alright, four floor. Uh, floor four. Grab these ones. Is this gonna be the elevator? I don't even know. Hmm. Uh, let me take care of these little guys. Oh, gods. Oh, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. I don't like that. I was in a bad spot over there. There's one. There's another one. Perfect. Uh, he did drop something that I cannot grab, so let me go ahead and eat this one. Yes, eat the dandelion. Ooh, so we got some really interesting stuff out of it. Not bad. Let me take care of this bug as well. Alright, we are getting a little bit of slime there. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Although I'm getting their resources, which is not bad. Uh, let me eat... Mushroom. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get sick. I don't even know if you can get sick in this game or not. Hmm, yeah, I have no idea. Alright, let me keep on going then. Let's try to find the exit to the next floor. Ooh, there it is. Uh, can I do something with this? No. So maybe I'm gonna unlock the elevator at floor 5? Yes, it is! There we go, so now you can use the elevator. And go up, and then go back down. That is what I wanna see, perfect. I definitely didn't see it the first time I played, uh, I was really paying attention that much. Get out of here. Stop touching me. Aha! Another floor has been opened up. Nice. Let me eat up another moral. And I'm gonna eat up another one. Just because I wanna grab the uh, meat from these bugs that I keep on killing here. And the thing that I forgot to get for myself is, of course, the uh, line. Because it's probably gonna get darker and darker as I keep on going lower. For now, let me try to get me more materials. All right, there we go. Get rid of you, buddy. Perfect. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of minerals in this place, including stones that I'm grabbing a lot of them, which is not bad. Uh, I don't really have that much food at on me, the, um, but hopefully we are going to be able to get to maybe floor 20. I'm not going to expect me to go to floor 40 just yet, just because I'm not really ready for that. And there might actually be some really crazy enemies um, coming out very, very soon. At the moment, we are on floor 6 here. Let's keep her going, though. And we do have a mission to kill a lot of these slimes, right? Let's just see how many we gotta still kill. Uh, so we gotta find the Robin's lost axe. The last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. Hmm, so we are gonna have to look for the axe here. Also, for the initiation, we gotta kill four more of these uh, slimes. All right, I haven't seen any exit just yet. All right, where's the exit, though? We are kind of running low on energy. Ooh, what is that? 
I mean, you guys told me that these geodes are pretty rare, but you know what? I kind of have a lot of them so far, so I don't think they are that rare. I think it's actually pretty easy to find uh, a lot of these geodes if you just keep on mining. And I know that I found my first geo not in the mines, which probably that is a uh, pretty rare itself. Finding it outside of the mine is probably what makes it uh, very rare. Come on, buddy, seriously? No exit out of this place? Oh, there we go. We found it. Awesome. All right, we got to another level. The thing is, if I get to level 10, if I'm not mistaken, we are going to be able to use the elevator then to get it back, right? So, let me go ahead and eat a dandelion. Maybe restore it a little bit of energy. Awesome. And of course, there's going to be a lot of slimes around here that we got to deal with. But that's fine because we got to kill four more in order to finish up the mission. Alright, let's deal with this guy. Get out of here, buddy. God, our energy though. Our energy levels are going very, very low. Let's eat another dandelion. Perfect. Uh, I don't think we unlocked the next level, so we gotta keep on looking underneath these stones. At the same time, it could be below the... Oh god, slime. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get out of here, slime. Look at that, he's mad. <laughs> All right, let me eat a potato. Yes. Are these good enough? I mean, I guess they would do the job. There you go, perfect. We still have three more potatoes, right? I do need more, though. Okay, nothing behind that. Where's the exit? There we go. Finally got it. All right, floor eight. Ooh, this is a skeleton icon, which means probably only enemies. Yeah, look at that. We got to pay attention. Get out of here, bugs. Oh, God. Okay, perfect. I think we are done with the mission, if I'm not mistaken. Which means I will be able to probably get myself... Oh, God. Gotta pay attention. Um, the big issue I have right now is not my health. My health is all good. The problem is my energy. We are kind of running low on it. Uh, so let me eat another potato. And another one. And I do have one more that I'm going to save. But first, let's take out this critter. Ooh, I think this one is going to actually give me another cherry bomb, right? Uh, unfortunately, it didn't. No, that's fine. Come on. <laughs> the sound that they're making, though, when they're hitting them. That's so funny. Come on, dude. All right, this one is done. Come on. Give me a cherry bomb. Ooh. We just got a crab. Huh. Does that mean that I can go ahead and eat the potato and also grab me the crab? Yes, we can. We just got a crab. A marine crustacean with two powerful pincers. Hmm. I wonder what I can do with those pincers, though. Maybe I can actually use uh, the crab here to cook it, to make like a dish. That would probably work. Uh, let me try to take you out first of all. Oh god, I'm slimy. Get out of here, slime. Alright, there we go. A way down has appeared. Uh, where? Can I see it? Is that what the way down? I think it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, though, let me go ahead and get the initi initiation. You successfully dispatched 10 slimes. Now you can enter the Adventurer's Guild. Ah, that is awesome. 
All right, let's keep on going lower. Uh, level nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hold up. Let's try to take out the slimes first. I see a lot of crates at the top there, which are probably going to give you some uh, really good resources. The thing is, we're getting very close to 10, right? Which means we are going to be able to use the elevator very soon as well. To get to start up, to continue actually our journey through the mines. Alright, let me build, let me destroy these ones. What is that? Is that like gold? Uh, can I maybe eat these slimes? Eat algae. I mean, they are giving us a little bit, so let's just eat it all. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, that's topaz. Nice. Alright, we got ourselves a brand new... Oh god. Dang it. Get out of here, buddy. I love that these crabs are hiding in the uh, stone zone. Alright, he's done. Grab this one. Let's also eliminate more of these freaking critters. Come on, get out of here. They're doing quite a bit of damage, eh? I see that my health is kind of going down, so I gotta pay attention. There's another one of those guys. Let's take you out, buddy. Oh, wait, am I getting sleepy? Oh, I'm getting sleepy because of the time of day. I get it. Hmm. All right, I gotta hurry up. I gotta find... There we go. We gotta find the exit, as I was saying, to level 10. Which means, now that we got to level 10... Nice! We activated the elevator, and... A chest. Um... I think I'm gonna replace it with the coal. And the reason I wanna replace it with the coal is because... Actually, hold up. Can I put these boots on? Yes, we can. And now, we can grab the coal back. Oh, that is so cool! It is 10, uh, 12 a.m., so I'm not going to keep on going. Instead, I'm going to use the elevator to get back to level zero, and we are going to carry on early in the morning, right? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Give the mine. All right, let's go back home. Again, I'll, although I still have uh, quite a bit of stamina, right? We do need to get some sleep and reset the day. I know you're sleepy, buddy. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to make my, my, make my way back home now. I wonder if there's any chance to fall asleep like in Stinky Sasquatch if you don't get back home by uh, the right time. Oh my god, come on, game. Seriously, I was just about to go inside the house. Dang it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I was just about to enter and go to sleep. Oh, my god. Alright, anyway, um, let me just clean up my inventory here by simply removing a lot of these resources. Uh, at the same time, let me grab some of these geodes. I want to take them to the blacksmith and see if the blacksmith can actually do something with them. And also, let me get a little bit of work done here by doing that. All right, perfect. Uh, can I also get myself another chest in here? Let's see if I can do that. Uh, build, chest, perfect. And the reason I want to have a chest in here is because I want to put the stuff that you can actually use, right, with that. Uh, as well as wood, why not? Let me make this one red. There we go. Uh, let me also grab that, that slime. I don't want the slime. I want the bars. Uh, I think I'm going to use the seeds to plant a little bit, of course, and the water. Yeah, and I think that is about... Actually, hold up. Uh, we need the stone and the clay, and that is it. All right, what I'm going to put in here is, of course, the minerals with the stone, the clay, and that is everything. Perfect. You know what? I don't need the wood in there, though. The wood needs to move. There you go, buddy. That's really cool. And let's put this stuff in there. Perfect. Alright, let me grab the seeds as well. 
and plant this stuff right here. And also water everything down. Can I also grab that one? Oh god, I did not want to destroy it. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, in that case, what I want to do is fill up this thing with water. I know you can actually make yourself a water mill, but why do that when you can fill up the water with from the pond? Yeah, we definitely don't want a mill. Uh, we definitely don't want a uh, water system. You're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious. Someone was searching for your pockets. I have no idea how much they took. Of course, we lost a little bit of money because we didn't go to sleep. Tomorrow, we're holding an egg festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. Uh, you wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Hmm. So it's gonna be tomorrow. Yeah, I definitely don't want to miss that for sure. Alright, let's get another one of these going. Perfect. Uh, and I think I want to get rid of the water for now. I do want to have this one because I do want to try to catch me, right? Some fishies. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Also, can we watch the muse for a second? Fortune Tiller. Welcome to Koza 5, yada yada yada. Don't be late. Oh, he's telling me about the uh, festival, look at that. What about the Fortune Tiller? Yeah, if you seek uh, hidden knowledge in the future, you will come to the right place. The spirits are very happy today. Uh, you'll do best to shower everyone with good fortune. Hmm. Alright, in that case, let me make my way to the beach. And the reason I want to get to the beach is because I want to try to catch me that largemouth bomb. All I need to do right now is just get to the beach because I need to try to catch me some uh, fishies. Hopefully, we can catch the one that we need for the mission though. I'm really, really hoping. Alright, let's just use this. Make my way over here. Ooh, look at that. There is a spot over here that we can use to fish. Seriously, was it that fast? Come on, buddy. Catch me something good. There we go, we got it already. Come on, please give me the large mode bar. No, 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 no. Take it. Catching fishes in the Stardew Valley apparently is not that easy, as I thought. <laughs> Alright, another herring. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just th simply throw these in the water. Just because fishes are more important than everything. Another herring. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it here. So, let me just have a chat with this fella. And maybe go at the river and try to catch me the bar. Uh, the fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. This one is Elliot's. So, how many people do I still have to find? Introduction. Oh, we just have a few more apparently that we gotta find. Not bad. Alright, let me go inside here. Let me see if I can sell some of my stuff. What if I sell this one? Ah, you can sell the clams and the oysters. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, well, I think we're done with the beach. Let me try a river then. Let's see, maybe the uh, fishes that we're looking for are gonna be caught in the river. At the same time, I am gonna have to get myself a little bit of wood here to fix this place up. 300 pieces of wood, oof. That is quite a lot, but it's not really that difficult to get wood. So uh, maybe eventually I will come here and fix it up. Alright, let me try the river. Maybe we can catch me the bar in the river. Uh, who's this person? Uh, archaeology office opens 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, I think we can chat with the archaeologist to unlock me something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, this one is Caroline. Fine day to you. This guy is Gunther. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out of there and don't treasure hunting, huh? Alright, this one is Vincent. It's Paul Beat Might again. Uh, and if it get in the dirt, this one is Penny. Alright, we need four more people apparently. We need to meet four more people. There's a box missing here. Hmm. Wait, what? 
Alright, what if I go ahead and get me this stuff? Can I give it to this fella to unlock it? It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate. The museum better get out of the uh, yada yada yada. I mean, I know that they told me that you can get these geodes. Oh, to the blacksmith to open them. I get it. Yeah, I don't see no box right here that we gotta place. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is supposed to be. For now, let me go to the blacksmith to try to open up the geodes. Let's see what those are. Alright, and blacks. Uh, upgrade tool, process geodes. All of them. Wait, how do you... Ah, oh, there we go! Seriously? No way, we're getting more materials out of it. That is so cool. Look at that! Uh, you don't have enough room in your event. Wait. Oh yeah, because I just need to have that geode over there, yeah. Uh, hold up, can I maybe go ahead and eat the potato then? To make more room. There we go. Speak with this fella. And process geodes. This one. What? The amount of stuff you're unlocking, that is so cool. Alright, our inventory is full. Unfortunately, I will have to make my way back home. Uh, before I start fishing again. Um, hmm. You know what? Let me just eat this fish. Eat. And let's see if we can actually catch ourselves the bar. Come on, start the valley. There we go. Whoa. A sunfish. Not bad. Let's keep on trying. Wait, what? A broken CD. Hmm. Uh, mudstone. Mineral, I'm gonna can tell you more about if you uh, donate to the museum. Ah, so these things can actually be donated to the museum. What? Interesting. Uh, okay. Let me go to the museum then and donate these things that we just got. I know, go inside. Oh, look at that, Gunter is here. He knows that I have some stuff for him. Hmm, abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. <laughs> What's this? You found something? Let me see it. We actually found quite a few things. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in the greater detail, but it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any of new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. There we go. Not bad. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Definitely gonna donate, for sure. Everything that I'm gonna find in the geodes. Alright, so let's see. Now that we have this one, let me donate it here. Donate. Uh, this. Oh, we can choose where we want to place some, seriously? That is pretty sick. There you go, buddy. Uh, let me put the dust in, in here, actually. This one here. And I guess that is about it for now. Nah, bad. There's a box missing here. Not sure what the deal is with that box, but we are gonna have to do it eventually. Oh, we got 250 coins for donating. Look at that. Perfect. Well, in that case, you know what? Uh, let me make my way to the blacksmith again. No, it's not locked. What do you mean it's locked? Oh, it's locked at 4 p.m. I get it. All right, anyway, in that case, let me keep on fishing for the day. Hopefully I can get that large mouse bar. There we go. A small mouth bar. It's not the large one, but uh, this is a confirmation that we may be able to find the bar inside the uh, river and not inside the ocean. Come on, almost there. There we go, almost got it perfect. Another small mouth. Go and it's a small mouth. Whatever, it is what it is. 
All right, well, in that case, you know what? Um, let me make my way back home. I think I will have to sell these fishes, but at the moment, it may be a little bit too late in the day to be able to do anything. So let me just skip as I'm going to make my way back home and reset the day. All right, there we go. A brand new day has started, and we also leveled up as a fisherman. Nice. Now, let's see here. What am I supposed to do next? Uh, I could get this thing back to work. So let me go ahead and do just that. Let me grab this and put more copper in here to do its job. Grab the fishies back again. And I want to sell these fishies for some money. Why not? Yeah, we definitely can do that. And at the same time... Let's grab these ones. And uh, start selling some stuff. First of all, let's see what it's all about. My sources tell me you've been uh, poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you just pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. This guy's a wizard? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you're supposed to go to this tower and chat with this fella. But first, hold up. I need something. I need to water can first. Because I need to water these down. There we go. Uh, let me put this behind. Grab this one. Hold up, buddy. I just want to do a little bit more work here before I leave. go grab the fishies back again and we're good all right perfect now as i was saying we definitely lost the mission right for yeah we definitely lost the mission for the fisherman uh, but i'm still gonna make my way to the fisherman to just sell all the fishes that we just got so let me just skip as i'm gonna do that today's festival being set up come back later ah all right never mind so i cannot go to the fisherman all right well in that case let me just make my way to uh what time do i have to be for the uh Festival. Deeper in the mine, raise the animals. So I have no idea. Uh, let me go to the tower then. Let's see where this is. So in order to get to the tower, I gotta keep on going through here, I guess, past the lake. Yeah, they are getting the festival ready. That's why I cannot go there just yet. Hopefully not too much time is gonna pass here as I'm gonna chat with the wizard, eh? Oh, look at this tower. It's locked. Seriously? Dang it. <laughs> Alright, in that case, let me try to get in town. Hopefully the festival is gonna be on the way. The thing is, I have way too many things on my inventory, so... Hopefully, I'm not gonna mess things up. Egg festival has begun in town, square. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and eat this fish. Yes, eat it. There you go, buddy. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, look at that. We got shots. We got everything that we need around here. That is pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool indeed. Which means now we can also go ahead and meet up people, right? If you want to. Huh. Yeah, let's just try to meet everybody. Uh, this one is Alex. We already met with them. She's Haley. Uh, oh, this guy is the fisherman. Sometimes I don't hold an egg too well and uh, no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to uh, bring out a rotten smell. Hmm. I think there's a dog in there. <laughs> Who's this guy? George. What's everyone so happy about, huh? Eggs? Ah. This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. The tradition connects to us with both the past and the future. It's comfort it's comforting. Uh, this one is Sam, Abigail, and of course Sebastian. Mary Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Alright, this one is Emily. I've been up since down coloring eggs. It's always been my favorite part of the uh, season. Vincent loves his festival. It's a joy to see him happy. Uh, she's Leah. 
We got Marnie here. We got, of course, Louis. Do you think everyone is ready for the egg hunt? Yes, let's start. Uh, not yet. Eggs, what a strange thing to eat. <laughs> uh, she's Pam. I'm just trying to make sure I'm gonna meet everybody now before we start up this up. Uh, this guy is Marlon. Uh, this fellow is Gus. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs. <laughs> All the possibilities. Uh, we got Maru here and Penny. Uh, what about this fella? Isn't this Cliff? Yes, this one is Clint actually. We got the hobo. And then we got the shopkeep. Hmm. Interesting. I wanted to actually chat with him just to try to meet him, but um. And this one is Shane. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow crown. Right, well, in that case, you know what? Let's just start this off. Let me also chat with this fella. Uh, Harvey. And I hope I met everybody in town. I cannot chat with this one. So she's Pam. Alright, let's do this, daddy. Let's start. It's time for the highlight of today's festival, the annual Spring Egg Hunts. <laughs> Come down, now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Exclusive prize? Hmm. Now, is everyone ready? I sure am. Let's get the egg hunt begin. Oh, so we gotta find a lot of eggs. We gotta find how many? Oh, there's an egg here. Is that an egg? I don't even. Oh, we got one. Interesting. I do see another one back here, though. Come on, collect it. Wait, what? I cannot collect it for some reason. I see another one there and another one here. Wait, what? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. I think we gotta click on them. For some reason, I thought you only have to walk on them. All right, we got four eggs. We got five eggs. That's gonna be a six. I do see another one over there that I gotta get to. I see another one at the bottom there. I cannot get to that one though. I think it's. There's two in here. No! Dang it! I could have gotten so many more. Whoa, look at these eggs! Now, if only I could get your kids to pick up later in this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest sound this side of the uh, gem sea. <laughs> Alright, and now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Is he me? I'm really curious. I could have gotten so many more. Ah, Abigail won. Dang it. Good job, Abigail. <laughs> Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Man, next time I'm definitely gonna know what, what I'm gonna have to do. Well, that's it for this year at festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. That was pretty cool, though. Pretty cool indeed. Alright, next, next time I'm gonna try to be better at it. <laughs> for sure. Uh, let me grab this, put it in here. Uh, at the same time... Let me grab these ones and cook me another one. Alright, tomorrow I'm definitely going to have to start selling these uh, fishies that we got for sure. Alright buddy, there we go. New day has started. Uh, let me get me more resources then. I think I have only... Dang it, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Um, let me place this thing back in here. Place this one, and I think that's the last one because we don't have any more coal, right? So unless I'm gonna get more coal, I'm not gonna be able to click anymore. Uh, hold up. I do need to get myself the watering can. Let's also... Actually, I cannot grab the crab because I don't have any more space. All right, hopefully these ones are gonna grow very, very soon. For now, let me just, as I was saying, skip as I'm gonna get to town. Uh, actually, not to town, but more like to the beach so that we can sell all the fish that we got in our inventory. 
All right, there we go. It is 8.30. It is 9 a.m. now. Uh, let's go inside. No, I don't want to eat it. I want to go... Dang it. I want to go inside here. <laughs> no, buddy. Dang it. Just go inside the fish store. There we go. And now, let me sell everything. Uh, oh, there we go. So much money by selling fish. Love it. We already got 1,700. That's what I like it. And of course, we got better fishing rods here. Look at that. A bamboo pole is 500 coins. Uh, we definitely have enough. I, I could go ahead and get it if I want to. Um, hmm. Should I get it? A fish double bed. Small fish tank. A large fish tank. And a bamboo pole. Hmm. You know what? Let's just buy it. There we go. Why not? When I have a bamboo pole, hopefully we're going to be able to get ourselves better fishies very, very soon. It's locked. Uh, there's all kinds of tackle with the different perks. They're usually a little flimey, so don't be surprised if your tackle breaks after a while. Hmm. Can I also buy some of these baits? It doesn't like we can buy any bait, though. Interesting. All right, anyway, uh, let me also get rid of all the geodes from our inventory because I do want to try to put them inside the museum. What is this? A muzzle. Alright, one, two, three, four. We only have four slots, right? For uh, the geodes here. So it is gonna be a little bit of back and forth, apparently. And also a fish that I dropped. Huh. You know what? Let me just eat it then. There we go. Thank you very much. And let's donate some geodes in here. Uh, process geodes. Hmm. Okay, unfortunately I cannot donate those ones, and I think I cannot do donate these ones either. Actually, we can. Never mind. Alright, you cannot donate these ones though. You can use it for construction. Apparently we're not really getting materials that we can donate today. Hmm, yeah, we're not as lucky, apparently. Huh. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, donate this one, I guess. Go and donate. This one is going to go, I guess, right over here because it's like a crystal, right? Oh, we got a new reward. Huh. Not sure what that reward is all about, but anyway. Click rewards. Oh, cool for. Ah, colorful flower seed. No way. That is what I want to see. Well, in that case, let me make my way back home and get rid of uh, all the stuff from my inventory and also plant some of this color flower. Now, I wonder, who is the last person I'm supposed to meet? Is it going to be the wizard, maybe? Yeah, you know what? It might actually be the wizard. Uh, the weather is interesting today, don't you think? Yeah, sure it is. I mean, it looks pretty okay. Pretty normal. Oh, what's happening? Ew, it smells. Hmm. Apparently there's stuff coming out of the sewage. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. <laughs> I think Gunter has the key. Professor Gunter, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for that big rusty old key. Hmm, so maybe this is a hint for me to know that... Uh, <laughs> they got scared by something. No way. There's something moving around in there. Huh. I wonder what. So much trash around here, look at that. We gotta clean it up. Oh god, <laughs> I also got scared as well. Hmm, so we gotta figure out what that place is. I think I'm supposed to go and chat with the uh, dude at the museum, probably, so that he can give us the key, maybe. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do that. For now, let me focus on getting back home here.
All right, there we go. And while we're at it, I'm also going to try to plant all this cauliflower that we just got. Uh, let's see. Everywhere. I need the cauliflower everywhere. Uh, and a little bit of over here, I guess. And now water everything down. I didn't want water there, but that's fine. Alright, that works. Uh, let me fill this jerry with water again. Perfect. I think I want to remove this scarecrow and place it somewhere else. Yeah, I didn't really like the uh, positioning there. And maybe it's gonna be a better position if I put it just maybe in the middle here. Right over there. Perfect. It was kind of in the way, that's why I didn't like it. Uh, let me collect that. Place this in here. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I need the mausoleum in here, so I'm not gonna place it in there instead. I'm gonna place this stuff in here. Including that, and... Oh, I already had a bamboo pole! Dang it! <laughs> I wasted 500 coins for it. I'm gonna have to sell one then. Yeah, definitely gonna have to sell one back. I'm probably not gonna get the same price, but it is what it is. Um, hmm. Right, anyway, let's keep it going then. Ooh, the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new month weathering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, coleslaw. Envisioning banned mounds of a limp cabbage? You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and uh, mayonnaise and, you'll, and you're all set. And that's, and that's it. You learn how to cook coleslaw. There we go. So we just learned a new recipe. But of course, we still don't have a kitchen. Unless I'm gonna get myself a kitchen, I'm not gonna be able to cook anything. So for today, let me make my way to the wizard to try to meet the final person I guess in town. And hopefully finish up another mission in the general. Get out of here, buddy. Alright, so to get to the wizard, we gotta go this way. Oh, look at this. She's actually playing right over here. Or maybe this is the person that I gotta meet? Huh. Uh, this one is uh, selling spaghetti. Tunips, trap bobber, whatever that is. Slimes, pufferfish, a large egg, uh, summer spangle, pumpkin soup, oysters, dark throne. Hmm, and a rare seed as well. What? Yeah, I'm not sure if I should trust this guy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me go ahead and meet the uh, wizard. Look at that! Whoa, this place looks epic! Ah, come on in! I am Rasmudius, seeker of the arcane truth, measuring between physical and eternal, master of the seven elements, keeper of the secret. Ch you get the point. <laughs> and you, Stanton, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! What is that? That looks like one of those creatures we saw in Town Hall, right? Hmm... You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Hmm. I'm not sure why they've moved into the uh, community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Oh, I'm telling him about the tablet that we just saw. Hmm, you found a golden scroll within an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> Seriously? No way! Alright, uh, am I supposed to just wait? Yeah, I guess I'm just supposed to wait for him. <laughs> that was fast. I found the notes. 
The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Genimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, you will, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. One with the forest? What do they mean? Hmm. Interesting. I'm really curious what I'm supposed to do here. Oh! I know! Come here! <laughs> is he trying to make like a potion or something? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Uh, let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Am I gonna get some new abilities, I wonder? Oh, I got energy out of that. No way. <laughs> I'm gonna puke it off. Seriously. <laughs> what is even happening? What the... That is not weird at all. Look at that. We're seeing trees and everything. Hmm. Maybe we're about to see the ingredients that we're supposed to bring to, the, to these little guys. I got absolutely no clue what's happening. You gain the power of the forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the uh, Junimo scrolls. Huh. Okay. Uh, the thing is, this guy didn't count as a person that we had to meet. Hmm. Maybe we gotta meet him now? I sometimes observe the local villagers in secrets. Alright, so he still didn't count. Hmm. Interesting. What about what is this? What are you doing? I only allow those who I truly trust to enter there. Hmm. That is probably a secret entrance or something like that. What about this one? Mm, can I interact with it? Alright, buddy. I guess we gotta meet um, another person somewhere, but I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm supposed to look for him. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I could take this path to go to whatever this is. But at the same time, I need to meet with Abigail, maybe at the general store, to see if I can actually expand my house and get a uh, kitchen. This is a ranch, Leah's cottage. Let's see who else we gotta meet. Maybe I'm supposed to go to that ranch and meet somebody there. So this one is Leah. And this one is Abigail. Moving in this game is pretty slow. Uh, again, as I was saying, I wish we can find ourselves maybe some um, shields that are going to allow me to run a little bit faster. It's locked. Only Leah and her friends can access that. Uh, in that case, let me make my way to the fisherman. I want to sell one of these poles. All right, there we go, we are back home. Let me put everything that we don't need in here, just like that, I guess. Uh, let me also grab this one, everything in here as well. Come on, buddy, there we go, burn a little bit more. And at the same time, we also need to get rid of some other stuff over here. Uh, I think I am gonna plan these things. Yeah, why not? And also grab the geodes. All right, let's also reset the day because it is getting a little bit late outside. All right, grab that, uh, put it in here, and I think we got everything we need. All right, uh, let me also plant some trees around, right? Doo -doo, you're gonna grow there. All right, we got rid of those. Um, let me go back in house and get me the watering device. I'm never just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will uh, all die out. So plant ahead. Oh, man, seriously? Is it seriously gonna be that detailed? I didn't think about that at all. Uh, let me get the watering can. Uh, can we learn some new recipes? Living off the land. 
Welcome to the living of the land. We're back again with another tip for all of you. Now listen up. It's summer berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries, and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Hmm. So does that mean that I can actually go ahead and get me this thing and harvest me some stuff? Let's just try. Oh, they are. Ah, we're getting berries out of it. So you don't really need the uh, scythe here to get it. Interesting. In that case, let me just leave the side behind. Just like that. Let me water down the plants, first of all. Alright, let me grab a little bit more water. Perfect, I don't need no bushes around here, buddy. I had no idea you can actually collect those things. Hmm. And let's also leave the water behind. I do, I do need that one though. Alright, so let me make my way to the fisherman as I was saying. And as I do that, I'm also going to look around for more bushes to collect more berries from. Hmm, I mean, these are the bushes that we need, but uh, apparently they are not growing anything. I was hoping that all of them, all these bushes are gonna have those berries growing. Anyway. Nobody, move, let me pass. Uncollect me more stuff over here. Uh, this one I am gonna eat right now. Alright, let's see if we can actually sell that pole. Again, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get 500 back for it, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, apparently there's not many bushes with berries in them. Hmm. You only managed to find two. I was really hoping to be able to find, to have all these bushes in the game full with berries. Anyway, let's just keep her going. Uh, do we have a calendar of our own we can use? Hold on a minute. Um, yeah, we definitely don't have a calendar of our own. Interesting. We got more berries here. Perfect. And a little bit on this side. Right, it is 9 a.m., which means the fisherman is gonna be inside his hut. Let me see if I can give him back the uh, fishing pole. Right, buddy, here's your fishing pole. Oh, uh, wait, I cannot sell it. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, or I cannot. What? How do I sell it to him? Oh, man, you cannot sell the fishing pole. Seriously. Boy, their son. Looks like uh, decent weather for fishing, eh? Yeah, doesn't like we can give him the fishing pole. Dang it. Alright, in that case, you know what? Let me make my way to the ranch here. Let me try to meet the final person. And while we're at it, I'm also gonna go to the blacksmith to open up all the geodes. And... Process geodes. Hmm. Definitely did not want that. Uh, e. Remove this. Delete. This one is gonna stay in, I guess. Uh, let me just eat this one. And process more geodes. Ooh, look at that. Whatever that is, I don't know, but uh, it looks really shiny. So that is just gonna be a stone, I think, which is not really something that I really wanted. Uh, clay, I guess we can get rid of the clay, tell the truth. We have enough. 
How about just two more geodes? Let's see. Okay. And lastly. Hmm. All right. Well, at least we got two more objects we can put inside the museum. So let me go ahead and get rid of them. Donate to museum. We got. The Gunther can tell you more about this one. Uh, this one's gonna go here. Perfect. And this one is going to go here. Alright, we're done. Now, can I actually make my way to them and uh, see what they're all about? What they mean? Uh, despite its high toxicity, this mineral is widely used in, man in manufacturing of folk medicine. Interesting. This one is... Opament, a slate, and another slate. It's extremely resistant to water. Huh. A mudstone, a thunder egg, according to the legend Angry Yada Yada Yada, and this one is a Naquadite, the delicate shard from a tiny pink meadow. Hmm. Not bad. Apparently, there's gonna be a lot of these uh, collectibles we're gonna be able to grab from the geodes. I really enjoy this though, really enjoy this. Uh, in that case, let me go inside here for a second. I wanna see if I can upgrade some of my tools. Upgrade tools. Oh, so you can upgrade your pickaxe and your copper and copper trash can, whatever this is, not sure. When trashing an item, you reclaim 50% of the value. Oh, that is not bad. Not bad at all. And what about shop? Okay, so you can buy gold, coal, iron, ore, and Copper ore. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, in that case, as I was saying, let me just finish making my way to here. Oh, this is the carpenter shop, so maybe she's gonna teach me now how to make a kitchen. Oh, hi. I heard that Louis show you around the community center. It'd be grand if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. Okay. Hmm. I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Uh, upgrade house, construct farm buildings, shop. So you can buy and sell woods and stone. Basic window. Oh, no way. Look at how many things we can actually buy from her. A workbench, telephone, budget TV. Plants, a fireplace, stoves, what? And of course, these ones are probably recipes. Yeah, look at that. Straw floor. Ooh, I think I just bought something for <laughs> by mistake. Uh, let me go with upgrade. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It will cost you 10,000. And you also need to provide me with 450 pieces of woods. Oh my god, that is so expensive. And construct the farm buildings. Hmm. Alright, so in order to make the coop that we have the mission for, we need 4,000 coins, 300 wood, and 100 stone. Oh, are you kidding me? I have a feeling... Uh, this one is Demetrius. I have a feeling we're gonna have to put a lot of work... ...into farming and uh, actually harvesting, not farming. Yeah, as at the moment, we're not really ready. To build anything, but at least now we know where we gotta go, right? In order to figure out how I can upgrade my uh, place. Interesting. I'm still trying to figure out who's the person that I gotta meet in order to unlock more things to do. Uh, let me grab. Oh, dang it! I hate it when these things are dropping in the water and I'm losing them. I mean, I've already met with the hobo. Who is this house belong to? Oh, this one is for the guild. Never mind. So maybe there's gonna be a person inside the guild that we can chat with and we haven't chatted before. He's back! <laughs> maybe this is the guy that we had to meet. Uh, Gil, come back when you got something to show me, kids. Nope, still, we gotta meet one person. A wooden blade. I definitely don't want a wooden blade because I have a rusty sword. Sneakers, leather boots. Increases knockback by one, 
uh, by, 10, by 10%. This one increases precision by 10%. No way. So the leather boots are defense and immunity. And this one is just one defense. I mean, I do have some boots on, right? Yeah, I do have the boots on, so I don't need it. Hmm. What about this? What is this? Monster eradication goals. Help us keep the valley safe. Uh, so we gotta kill 1,000 slimes and 125 cave insects. Oh, man, so many that we gotta do here. That is interesting. Uh, and apparently this guy wants something from me at one point, but uh, maybe not just yet. Hmm. Well, at least we made our way inside this building. We know what this is now. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to meet any new persons. Um, let me go to this side then. Actually, in order to go this side, I gotta fix the bridge. And to fix the bridge, I may probably need a lot of wood, right? Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, you know what, guys? I think uh, this is gonna be the end of today's episode. We have actually done quite a lot of things today. Um, and I'm really looking forward for the next episode because I want to keep on exploring here, trying to keep on unlocking more things, more and more things, and uh, see what else we're going to be able to unlock as we keep on progressing here. So far, the adventure is starting to be more and more interesting, and it's probably going to get even better as we get to know more people around town. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching another episode of uh, Stardew Valley. If you all enjoyed this, you know what you got to do. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye, everybody!